Welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 15. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate the use of Bezier curve to deform a mesh object. I'll start by deleting the, the default cube. Press 7 on the num keypad and 5 to get an orthogonal view. Press um, Shift A, choose Curve Bezier. Press Tab to get to edit mode. When you use the right mouse button or your select button on any of these points. You can select the endpoints or the control points as you wish. So I want to extrude this, get more curved segments. I'll select the end, the front end of this and press E on the alphanumeric keypad and then just move the mouse to extend this new segment and press the left mouse button to fix where the end is located. So I'll do it again. E move and then left mouse E move and left mouse one two three four segments so I'll just move this up like that now I in will introduce the mesh object that I want to deform using this curve so shift A in object mode to get a mesh cylinder decheck the cap ends lower the number of vertices just to get fewer polygons and then I want to press R on the alphanumeric keypad and Y and sorry I wasn't in the right panel R Y 9 0 and then scale it down so it will look be in a reasonable dimension relative to the curve here so S on the alphanumeric keypad and like that. I'll use an array modifier to extend this. So I'll press add modifier array and I know I will use the Z dimension to, to extend it and I'll use a fit this Bezier curve. Okay, I didn't want that like that. I only get four segments and they're much too short to extend as long as the curve is so I'll just scale them up. S, X. Uh, S, X. I'll do a little bit excess here, a little bit more than I need and um, if I then use the curve deform modifier with this Bezier curve we'll see that these um, segments are too long or that they, they're not bending real nice. So I'll just press tab, go back to edit mode here and uh, make sure I have also the invisible selector activated. Use the edge mode, press A to deselect everything and then control left mouse to lasso in all the longitudinal edges. So we'll back to top view here and I'll press W for specials and I'll subdivide and I'll choose number of cuts 12 12 and I'll press tab to go back to object mode and you can see that this looks reasonably smooth we'll see what happens we we'll go back to here and press A two times to select everything and select smooth shading and then oh, it, it looks reasonably smooth here, but it's not quite. I'll add a subdivision surface modifier, see what that does, and that seems to cure some of the problems. And you can see that here is like a join, almost like a welded join, because this, this is where these two array segments meet. So what, what you can do is you can check this merge box, and then that goes away. So um, now I have this tube and it's, I can scale, scale X like that. So it's bendable by this, it's modified by this curve. So if I ch choose the curve and I go into edit mode, I can start manipulating the, we'll get it in perspective here. It's 
kind of look at it from this view and I can start modifier can you can just change how this thing is bent in a lot of ways I mean just keep doing this as much as you want take a side view just take this back here and So there's just total freedom to change the shape of this and you can add another, extrude another segment and extrude another segment and you'll just get as much tubing or cord or rope or whatever it is that this represents to you. Look at it from this view and render it. That's what it looks like in this plane a very plain render. So I'll go back to looking at it in perspective. And now I'll go back to object mode. And if I want to rotate this shape and I have only the mesh object selected and I press R Z for instance then the modifier will try to modify this relative to how the curve is so to move this hole as if it was an actual object or that there's no change to the shape of it I'll have to select the both both the curve and the uh, and the mesh object and then I'll do R Z and then it behaves as if it was one object then of course if you want to uh, apply the modifiers you can apply the array modifier and the curve modifier then this mesh object is now just a mesh object and go back go to um, edit mode and you can see that here's the entire the entire object all the mesh that is and it's one mesh and this concludes this demonstration I just maybe want to say that if you do go back to object mode now this curve will not if you go into this will not modify the the mesh object any longer. There's no connection between them. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. I thank you for listening. Thank you and bye-bye.